what is up guys today I'm gonna to be doing a video on how to claim your minecraft faction spawn because a lot of people don't know um, I have my friend here Cody but he'll be back um, so basically uh, a lot of people don't really know how to do this and they claim it with safe zone which uh, really you're not really supposed to claim a safe zone and today I'm gonna to teach you how to actually claim your faction spawn so the first thing you want to do is you want to obviously go to your spawn, okay? And you want to claim it with Warzone. It probably doesn't make any sense, but you'll kind of understand once uh, we get into this. The reason why you don't want it to do a safe zone is a couple of reasons. And probably the first reason is if you go over here, if you don't have your chunks correctly, um, then it will kind of just go off the edge. Um, Cody, you can talk. Um, Cody's here in the Skype call with me. Uh, check out his channel. Um, try to hit, make him hit some subscribers. I'll put his channel in the description down below. Please subscribe to this guy. Okay, he's awesome. Um, so, shut up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So let's get into this. You're gonna go to your spawn, of course, and you want to type in um, slash f claim. S for square, or if you have like a different version, it's S Q. You actually have to spell square, but I, I don't, so I just put S. And you want to find a good radius, okay? I'm just gonna set mine to 20, okay? Um, yeah, 20 is probably good um, because I have a b big faction spawn, if you could see here. It's about like 100 blocks by 100 blocks, so I'll probably do about 20. So you would go to spawn. You do slash F, claim, square, and then 20. And then you want to save a war zone, just like so. And uh, we'll save this. And you do slash F map. And you can see it has claimed, claimed the area. Now you're probably wanting to wonder, well, <laughs> you idiot. Now people are going to be able to kill each other and spawn. Actually, that's why World Guard was invented. So I'll also put a bucket plugin. I'll put the bucket plugin down in the description as all. Always, I'll put everything in the description. Um, don't unmute him. <laughs> so, no, he no, like I don't know how, but he put in chat Cody Bleach is only 125 at Walmart, oh. and I muted him. Oh, that's weird. Okay, so what you want Did to I do? Kick him? No, quiet. Please. No, don't kick him. I'm gonna go kill him. Shut Killing up, him. You abuse. Okay, so what you want to do yes. is you want to do slash slash wand. You also need world edit. Also, world edit will be down in the description for you to download. Um, so all you need to do is you need to cl uh, click one region of your spawn, okay? Um, and then once you get that region, you want to go over to the other side of your spawn, and you want to click in the same area. So I'm going to just head right over here. By the way, if you want to join my server, the IP will be down description. Okay. So you want to also put your second position on the other side. And you want to type a command slash slash expand vert. So this will basically um, put everything down to bedrock and up to the build limit. So after you want to do that, you want to put RG define spawn. Um, like so. <laughs> I already have a region to find a spawn. <laughs> Shut up! Cody, be quiet. Re redefine. Okay. Spawn. So, spawn updated with new area. So, now you want to do a couple of things. You want to do slash RG flag, and then you want to put the flag. You can press, just put jitterish like that and press enter. Actually, you don't do that. You actually put um, flag spawn, okay? And then you put jitterish, and that'll show you a bunch of stuff. You want to do PvP, okay? And uh, you want to put this to deny, okay? So, uh, see, I have all these already set. So, now what you have done is now people cannot PvP in your spawn. Um, so, that is also great. Now, safe zone is another thing. So, this is how you use safe zone. Warp. PvP. Um, it's not exactly, but and uh... okay. I'm just gonna straighten a couple of things up here. Um, you can do the same with Warzone, but the reason I didn't do that is because I didn't. I want people to lose power when they die in Warzone, so I set it to a safe zone. So uh, just straightening that up.
because of confusion and PvP it doesn't make any sense. It's kind of, it, it kind of sounds backwards. I know, just forget about it. F map. Okay, so this is safe zone. Um, safe zone is free from PvP. Actually, it's not. You can flag it so uh, PvP is enabled in safe zone. But the reason why is safe zone. So if anyone dies in the safe zone, um, they won't use lose any power. Um, I mean, you can put power loss. Uh, disable and blah 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 uh, war zone, but uh, yeah. Gracious, this is kit. This is PVP. Holy crap. Yeah. Um. So yeah, Cody, kill me. Uh. GMS S. Yeah, elite Cody. C kill me. Can I do this? Just no. That doesn't. Oh. Whatever, it oh, still works. Okay. And it said you didn't lose any power since the territory you died in works that way. Um, so that's how that works. Actually, kill me now. Like, freaking kill me. Like, with you. Okay, that was weird. Okay, there we go. Uh, so that's basically how this works, guys. If you like this video, uh, can we hit, um, three likes on this video? If we can hit three likes, that would be amazing. Also, subscribe to Cody. He, his channel is really dead. He needs some, he needs some people. So anyways, like I said, I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching this video. Comment down in the description below if, uh, anything you want me to do more. And I'll see you guys later.